Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. I'm Sully Pones, and today we're going to be continuing on our adventure to completing this game 100%. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, well, you should, because we actually finished rescuing all of the paper toads in this game, which, as a lot of you guys know, is a huge load off of my chest. I absolutely despise the paper toad missions. Like, rescuing them is probably the most tedious thing to do in this game, and it's a huge load off of my chest to finally be able to say that I will never have to do another one of those uh, missions for as long as I play this game, which is super exciting. So what we're going to be doing now is actually going through uh, this entire world, um, all of the Mushroom Kingdom, and we're going to be looking for all of the drill spots as well as item blocks that we skipped over during our first playthrough. That way we can complete uh, the collection guide 100% all the way through. So throughout the next couple of episodes, you guys can expect us to visit each area of this game uh, and obtaining all of the drill spots as well as items uh, throughout each area. As you can see, we're we're probably going to start out with Sunbeam Plains, considering it's the first area in the game, and move our way towards, you know, Doop Doop, uh, Des or Doop Doop Dunes. It's not Desert. I think it's called Doop Doop Dunes. And then move our way to, I think, Twinsy Tropics, Gloomy Woods, Mount Burr, and then Bowser's Castle. Actually, yeah, Bowser's Castle was the last place. It's all the way up there. So, um, Peach's Castle. Let me see how many blocks we need to get. Three blocks in Peach's Castle, and then we need, like... Let me do some quick math. Here we need 20... or 12 item blocks in Sunbeam Plains. And then we need 21 drill spots in Sunbeam Plains and then one item patch. All right, so we have a lot to do today, guys. I'm very excited about this. Anyways, Happy New Year's. I didn't wish you guys a Happy New Year's yet. Unfortunately, yesterday, I didn't make a video. It's not because I didn't want to make a video yesterday. Um, I got really busy, which is very ironic, considering that last year, the same thing that prevented me from being able to make videos on New Year's Day was the same thing that prevented me from being able to make videos the same thing on New Year's Day, and that was visiting my grandparents. So, you know, it just goes to show how much I love my grandparents, man. I prioritize them over everything. I'm just kidding, but, um, yeah, it wasn't my fault. I, I really hope you guys had a good New Year's Day yesterday, and I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, my New Year's was, you know, pretty, pretty chill. I just spent it with family. Not doing much, really. You know, ate some food. Very delicious food, actually. Um, it's always good to, to eat family home-cooked meals. Because nothing tastes better, I guess. But um, I'm actually going to make... I know I skipped over some drill spots. Before any of you guys start yelling at me in the comments saying, Dude, you skipped over three drill spots. The way I'm going to do this, and for every area in the game, is I'm going to start at the very beginning of each area. So that way I could just sweep each room as I go further and further into the area, if that makes sense. So that way I'm not starting out looking in each room, trying to find things, and then end up getting really confused because I don't know what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So... Um, that's how it's gonna work. We're gonna start out here in Peach's Castle looking for the item blocks. And there's only three here, and the castle isn't that big. So it shouldn't be that hard to find, but... Oh yeah, see, there you go. It's very easy. One item block right here, and then the next one down there. So this is overall gonna be a very easy thing to do, I think. I, I can't foresee it actually being hard. Um, unless they, they did a really good job hiding some of the stuff, which I don't think they did, actually. I, I don't know why they would do that. So, we're just going to be very optimistic about this, and we're going to hope for the best, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's go over to this side, see if there's any item blocks here. I don't, yeah, oh, there it is, the third item block. The third one, and there was literally only three in this area, at least in Peach's Castle. So, that means we are 100% done with Peach's Castle, and we never have to return here again. Um, for anything story related, look at that, nine item blocks in Peach's Castle. So now, for the next place, we still have, oh man, we have a lot to go. We have 12 in uh, Sunbeam Plains, but I don't think it's going to be that difficult. So let's go ahead and begin on this nice little adventure. Um, but yeah, 2016, guys, new year. Um, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a new me. Um, I want to bring a lot of new content to the channel. I know every year a lot of YouTubers say that, oh, new content, we're gonna do this and that, and they never follow through with any of those things. At least, you know, I feel like I have never fallen through with any of the things that I said I would do, so... This year, for sure, man, there's gonna be a lot of new content, and I mean it when I say that. I'm not actually just saying that just so I can hype you guys up. I, I mean it when I say it. I want to evolve my channel. I'm not saying I'm gonna stop the content that's currently being uploaded on the channel. The content will stay the same, but there will be more content, new content, content that's, in my opinion, more original to the channel and more original out there on YouTube to post. Because I, one thing about, you know, doing YouTube is it's very uh, competitive, and it, it kind of... I don't know, it's very discouraging too because like, 
There's a lot of people that do the same thing that you do. Like, Let's Plays, dude, there are thousands of people that make Let's Plays out there. So it's, it's kind of discouraging when you watch other people and you feel like you're not as good as them. So I feel like if bringing original content to your channel would completely eliminate that feeling. Because when you think about it, you're making content that nobody else makes. And, and people could say that about LPs, but LPs, in my opinion, are generally all the same. Like, people just play games, commentate them. Sure, everybody has a different personality, and they commentate things differently, and they say different things. But generally, it's all the same, and that's how I feel. Like, it, Let's Plays are, and that's why I want to work really hard this year into uh, making content that stands out, that's different, that's unique, that's original. And I'm going to do that this year for sure. And you guys will see a lot of big changes within the next week. I'm, I've actually been spending a lot of my time throughout the last couple of months working on something huge for you guys. And in 2016, we planned on, you know, addressing this big project that we're working on. And hopefully within the next couple of days, you guys will get a little snippet or announcement or just something, you know, to, to keep you guys in the loop and get you guys excited for, for some new content. Um... So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. What are you guys looking forward to for 2016? You know, for me, just making new content for you guys. That's all it is. And becoming a better person, helping out more. I want to do a lot more charity streams this year as well. I feel like as a YouTuber, the only way we can help people around the world and make a difference is by doing charity streams, bringing people together, something that doesn't require you to do anything major, like physically leave your house to go travel the world to help people in need. You could do everything from the comfort of your own home, which is amazing, because you could be sitting here watching a stream, donate a dollar, or just by even watching a stream, you're contributing, you're helping, you know, support a good cause. And that's, that's what I feel like YouTubers should be doing. I know a lot of people out there do really good stuff. Like Markiplier, PewDiePie, like I've, I've been a part of, I haven't been a part of, but I've been, I, I watched their uh, charity streams before in the past and it was like really amazing. Like they brought in a lot of people to donate like serious amounts of money towards great causes, which is amazing. And that's something that I, you know, it's, 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 it's inspirational and it's something that I want to do and something that I'm going to do this year for sure. So, um, I don't know. I just thought I'd talk to you guys about some New Year's plans this year. Since it is the first video of the year, 2016, it's a big deal, you know? It's a big thing, man. Big thing in our lives. There's a lot of enemies here. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I'm trying my best to avoid them all because I don't want to battle anyone. Even if I did get into battle, I'll most likely end up just running instead of battling them. There's legit no point in trying to battle any of these guys. They'll give you, like, little to no EXP points, so... Um... Yeah, what are you guys looking forward to this year, though? I, I know I asked that before, but what are your, some of the goals that you guys have planned out for this year? Usually people say, like, oh, I plan on working out every day, and then they do it for, like, a week, and then they stop. Because that was me, like, two years ago. I, I told myself every day I would work out, and I convinced myself that it was so easy. And I was like, working out is so simple, man. You just need, like, an hour a day of your time, which everybody has, you know. They have an hour to do something with their time instead of, you know, sitting online or watching YouTube videos or watching Netflix or doing anything that is also like a form of self-pleasure or just entertainment. You can work out for an hour a day. So I convinced myself like two years ago that I could do this and I maybe worked out for like a month straight and then I just stopped. It just everything stopped, man. I couldn't bring myself to work out more than that. And then eventually, you know, everything else that I planned out just slowly and surely just stopped happening. Because you get adjusted to the new year and you get used to it, so it's not like it's anything new. And it just turns into, like, 2015 again, but with a different title, 2016. And that's how every year is. But this time, it's different, man. This time, there's going to be some changes. No more laziness, man. Oh, there's another two beans. Didn't even... Oh, and another two over here. Cool. Okay, I gotta keep checking these beans frequently, just to make sure that I'm collecting all of them and not skipping over any. The thing is, I can't really tell if I'm skipping over any beans. And there's really no way to gauge this, um, considering that all of the beans are in places that I can't tell where they are. And please don't try to battle me, Monty Mole. Monty Mole, of course you would! Of course you would clip me on the last second like that. But, the thing is, I'm much faster than all of you guys, so... I'm not going to have to... Oh, come on. I freaking knew that was going to happen. And that thing is still going to try to fall. Okay. And all that. See, even the, the... Like, most of the drill spots in this game actually only give you coins. So, it's not like we need to go out of our way to get these stuff. Like, it's kind of crazy that we're doing it. And I actually really like that I'm doing it. Completing the game 100%. But it's, like, something that we don't have to do. So, 
just thought I'd point that out just in case some of you guys weren't really aware or paying much attention. Let's go ahead and check out the collection guide, though. I'm actually pretty interested. So, um, we still have, like, 14 to go here. And then for the blocks, we actually only have five. So we need five more blocks. Did we get this? We didn't get that either. I don't even know where that... What are item patches? Are those the things that you drill, like, cardboard things like this that I could drill into? To give me an item patch because as far as i could tell those are the only things that would make sense to be an item patch in this game like that's the only thing that i can think of and fly all the way up here i'm, I'm actually just gonna go back though i don't even know what i'm doing here i at least i got the items there so that's always good can leave that area in peace knowing that i explored it all the way through um fortunately unfortunately though i left a couple of enemies there so even if i wanted to go back i wouldn't want to go back because of the enemies on the off chance that i might get in a battle with them but there's another hole back here and there's actually some coins floating just in the air like that that you can go ahead and grab maybe using the airplane move but we're gonna make our way here and i wonder if i can drill down and across yep okay that's good i can do that so where is this gonna take me let's find out it's always good to just try to explore everything see anything that i might have skipped over back here maybe you never know man you never know oh this looks like a big area i could have easily skipped over something actually surprisingly i didn't i don't even remember visiting this part of uh sunbeam plains this just looks so foreign to me but yet the item boxes are hit it's so weird man it is so weird maybe it's because it's the first time that i play like i'm playing this game that it's it feels like a new experience for me and it still does and I, I don't know everything about this game, which is why it feels different all the time. Which is good. I like it. It's still new. It's still new. Even though it's been out for like a month, it still feels like a new game for me. Um, but that, there was another bean over there. Um, we're going to go ahead and make our way across this thing. Look how they squat here. I didn't actually notice it until I like paid attention one time. Because every time I always looked at Paper Mario, he never really squat. But Mario and Luigi squat. Can I get around through here? Oh my gosh, I can't. All this to avoid that stupid paratroopa. Man, that was so stupid. But let's see. Is this where the item patch is? Maybe. Item patch, item patch. Can I get an item patch maybe? Doesn't look like it. Yep, because item patches. Remember there was an item patch here one time? But it's not here anymore because we already got that item. It was like one of the three item patches in this area. I think that's what they mean. So I'm just going to stick to to that. Whenever I think of item patches, I'm going to think of those things. And if I hopefully find one, I can prove my theory correct. Maybe. Let's go all the way around here. What the heck? What the heck, man? Oh, man. Well, actually, I should probably be able to one-shot them if Mario does jump on them. Nope. Mario, why didn't you jump on them, you pleb? You should have jumped on them. I literally jumped on them before I got into battle, and it did nothing. It didn't initiate anything. All right, let's go and drill ourselves under here, see if we can find anything. Again, I explored this area. What the heck? Why don't I remember ever visiting any of these areas? This is so strange to me. But yay, I found two more beans. Or two more drill holes. Drill spots. Drill spots, drill holes, whatever you want to call them. Back here, there isn't anything. Okay, so um, clearly there's nothing there. I guess I could just make my way over to this side now. Now, one thing that I actually am pretty interested in is if they classify these as item blocks. I don't know if they do, but if they do, then... Oh, man. I don't even know where that second one is. But we'll, we'll go around and look for all the items first before we just assume that. Hey, oh, it's this area. This actually leads to uh, Doop Doop Dunes over here. Doop Doop Dune Grotto. That was the cave, and then there was like Doop Doop Dunes, which was the de which was the desert area, is what I'm trying to say. But please tell me there's some beans here. Yay! More beans. Two more beans over here. Um, and the Lack Two Info Center. It's pretty nice. I think there's also a war pipe somewhere in this area. Yep. Yep. A big war pipe as well. So what? This is supposed to be like North Sunbeam Plains or East Sunbeam Plains, and then the other place was supposed to be West Sunbeam Plains, where it was like closer to Peach's Castle, I think. Um, which is pretty cool. I like how they actually put a lot of war pipes in each area. So that way, like when you think about it, in each area we visited, like Mount Burr, I think there's three pipes there. There's a couple pipes in the desert. There's a couple pipes in uh, Twinsy Tropic. And there's like a couple pipes here. So it's pretty cool how they literally put a couple pipes in pretty much every ma in every area of the game. Because these areas are actually pretty big. Um, 
I don't know if I, I, I can't really compare them to other Mario and Luigi games and decipher which game has the biggest map because I, I'd be lying to you guys if I told you I had the slightest idea. But I could tell you guys in terms of length, uh, like game wise, then this, this is definitely the second longest Mario and Luigi game. This is obviously Dream Team, hands down. That's like 80 hours, man. And then this is like, I think you can beat it in like a clean 25 hours easily. But then the other ones, they're not nearly that long. I think they go up in like maybe the early 20s, but then that's about it for them. But hey, there's another thing over here. I don't think I've ever seen this thing. Oh, nice. Look at that. Two more item blocks. Yay for me. Didn't even realize you things were here. So, so boots. I need to like take a minute and just look at all of the items that I've been collecting. And just see if any of the items will prove to be useful to me or not. Because I feel like I've picked up a lot of really good items that I actually need to use. Or that I could use for uh, future battles and whatnot. And that's why I'm doing this now too. Because I want any new any boss battle that we do again, like rematch wise, uh, to, be, to be unique. To be different. To be different from the first time around. So we need to level up first all the way of course. And um, find all the bean holes and... And items and everything that we skipped over. But I'm pretty sure this part of Gloomy Woods is actually blocked off. So I think I'm going to just... Oh, man, I can't. What? This doesn't make sense. So if I go over here, can I at least get across, maybe? Let's see. Woo! Nope. You can't. You're not going to let me get across. I see. Okay, I think I've actually been in this area. Maybe this is in the area to the desert. Or, um... To gloomy woods it's the area to one of the entrance in gloomy woods and that's not the entrance that i'm looking for i'm actually thinking of the other entrance the question is how do i get there man i do not i i feel very foreign being here like everything feels different oh there's an item block over there how did i not explore this little tiny area over here look at that look at that man nice little item box do we have any beans that i could pick up doesn't look like it does not look like it at all all right, let's take a look quickly, see how much we've collected and how much remains. Block-wise, we only need two more, and then we have a lot of drill spots that remain that we need to find. So, huh. Let's go ahead and, I guess, continue on. This is weird. How am I, like, having such a hard time finding these things? Maybe up here. What is this? Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to take it all the way over to this side, maybe. Which makes sense. That's a very long flight distance, by the way. I don't know if you guys realize how long that actually is. It's very long. And they expect you to fly that long to get from that area to the next. But I guess we can check out this area. I feel like this is where I started out, honestly. And if it is, then it's all good. Because I feel like I might have skipped over a couple of things here. So hard, man. I, I don't know if I'm going to like doing this, honestly. I thought it was going to be much easier. Because, like, the thing is, like, I'm walking through each area. And it's not like I'm seeing any of these things, like, right off the bat. So, it's like, you actually have to go out of your way to find in... For, to find all of these things. Look at this, man. Each new area that I visit. It's like, oh, nice. Look at this. A trail of beans. I think we had, like, 12 remaining to obtain. Or, like, 10 or something like that. So maybe I just didn't actually explore this area. Um, let me see. Is there, there's nothing up there. I can visit that thing. I'm going to actually visit that thing up, up there. See what's going on on that side. But first, I want to see what's going on over here. Any more beans? Any more items? Any more beans? I don't remember this. I remember the part in front of it. I don't remember this back part back here. Um, anything else? Okay, we were totally just here, man. We were totally just here. Actually, wait. No, we weren't. We were on the other side. I don't think we were necessarily down here. Yeah, look at that. Is this actually a new area for me? Oh my god, it is a new area. Yay! Dude, just as I was filled with doubt, I found everything that I needed. Well, I mean, not the items, but this. This is what they were talking to me about. The item patches. This has to be the item patch. Look at that. It's a patch of items. Or it's a patch of item blocks on a piece of land. And that's why they're called item patches, right? Probably not. Are you saying I could have just... Oh, wow. That is so stupid. I could have just slingshotted my way from one side to the next. But I didn't even see that there. Because I was totally just here, remember? 
That is so stupid of me. Okay, um, so let's take a look at the collection menu again just to see how much we have to do. We have two more drill spots and two more item blocks. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back now. Because remember how that other plot, or uh, the other spot I didn't actually explore? Um, the, the one in the sky. I was just talking about how I'm gonna visit the sky again. I feel like that's where the other stuff are going to be. But at the same time, I'm kind of doubtful about that just because. When you think about it, I was up there earlier at the beginning of this episode, and I didn't find... Like, I, I think I explored all of the rooms. Like, I feel like I did. I mean, I I did invest a lot of time up there, so... I don't know. I could be wrong, though. Let's just find out. Let's find out. Let's go to make our way all the way up there. Oh, jeez. Move out of the way, Monty Mole. Just come all the way over here. Wait a second. Maybe... Nope. Nothing back there. Okay. Just thought I'd check, man. Doesn't hurt to check, you know? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's -a go fly. There we go, and then take me all the way up to the sky like a reading rainbow. <gasps> Could this be it? Oh no, it's not it. I visited this place, man. I've literally visited this place. Maybe they are up here. Maybe I just need to look harder. Like, I'm actually gonna just look all the way around. Just go all the way around, explore every little inch of this place. Oh snap! I found one. I just found one. Okay, so I guess I really didn't do a good job looking at everything up here. But it doesn't seem like it's that big. Uh, but there was that item block over there. So does that mean I didn't explore this? Because this hole is... Uh... Ooh, okay. I guess I... this is literally it, man. This is actually it. Oh, and this is the spot next to that... Oh my gosh, this is it. This is the spot next to Gloomy Woods, guys. I was literally talking about how I wanted to get here because I remembered that I didn't actually explore anything here. And then I got so lucky. Remember how we had two item blocks? You found both of them right here. And then the, we got we literally just got the two uh, drill holes. So what does that mean for me? Well, let's go ahead and find out, guys. Go to collection menu. Look at that. All the blocks in Peach's Castle and in Sunbeam Plains have been found and obtained. And all the drill spots in sunbeam planes have been obtained so what does that mean for us in the next episode we're going to be doing the same exact thing in dupe dupe dunes finding all of the blocks and all of the drill spots let's take a look at how many we have so if there's 61 total that means we have what 34 drill spots to find and then we have 15 item blocks to find i think wait actually that doesn't make sense Wait, no, 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 it does. It's 15 item blocks that we need to find. And then patches, we need two patches to find. So it doesn't seem like it might be hard. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we complete all of Doop Doop Dunes 100%. Thanks for watching. <laughs>